Hey there, this is Kaisa coming from Pure Definition Coaching. I actually promised this video a couple days ago out to a friend, but I didn't have time. <laughs> so I'm being six days postpartum with Colton. He'll be a week tomorrow. I am getting started just to work on a little bit of diastasis, recti uh, exercises, and just some upper body stuff. Very simple, very low impact, and making sure that you're really focusing on using your core, using your muscles in the way they're supposed to. And I don't mean using your core like doing crunches. Um, so crunches and numerous things that put pressure, uh, outward pressure on your abs are actually really bad postpartum, especially if you have diastasis recti. But even if you don't, uh, letting your abs kind of heal and come back together without pushing them more outward is uh, very important. So a couple of things before I show you the exercises, and I am rushing because you never know which kid is going to wake up first. So they're both sleeping right now, which is how I managed to have time to do this. Um, two things. One is you really want to focus on bringing your ab muscles back together and in and up. So rather than doing a crunch where you're pushing outward or doing a plank where your muscles are pushing down towards the floor, anything like that, it's a big no-no. So you really wanna stick with really basic exercises and always exhaling when you're working your muscles and thinking about pulling your spine, your belly button into your spine. So really like sucking it in, bringing those muscles back together. So two things before I show you them. Uh, one is always wear a band. If you have diastasis recti postpartum, it's really important to get a cinching band or a waist cincher. Um, a shrink X is one of the most popular ones. I'm actually kind of cheap, so I went with a cheap one that's very effective as well. I'll actually show it to you because I'm wearing it right now. It makes me focus more so you can see actually the band. Um, it's cinched in pretty tight and then has a couple of extra small bands that kind of really pull it in. And I've been you know, wearing this 24 seven, sleeping in it, eating in it, <laughs> um, you know, whatever else you're doing, like it's really great to make you focus on using your muscles in the correct way rather than uh, losing focus on that. But also just to kind of pull it all back in together as everything, all your organs and everything shrink and kind of return to where they're supposed to be. So I wear the band. I actually am also wearing a belly band underneath it, which is the black here. It's, um, otherwise the elastic and stuff on the cincher band would, like bothers my skin. So it was a really easy way to not have to wear an extra shirt and then put the band over that and then wear another shirt. So it simplifies that some to kind of keep your uh, dressing <laughs> as simple as possible and also keep you cool if it's hot where you are uh, postpartum. So uh, when you're doing the exercises, that's number one thing is always wear your band. Really, really important. It just keeps everything together. It also makes you focus on keeping it together, which is important. And it protects your back as well. So most of the time, women postpartum have like back spasms. And it's because uh, we're so used to carrying this big load off the front of us. And so once that's not there anymore, we have to kind of retrain our back muscles to support us and keep us upright and get us back into a normal functioning spine and, and core so that uh, it supports your everyday activity. And to do that without wearing a band, it takes a lot longer to recover. So again, support and further forward movement as far as returning to a uh, more functional uh, place that you're at rather than kind of combating it and letting it go and, and taking more time to recover in that sense. So let's get to the exercises. So I'm gonna start with the four basic ones. There's several and I will probably do another um, either article or video to kind of go over all of the other ones. But the ones I like to start with are um, pelvic tilts, knee drops, a march, and heel slides. So those are your four basics. And what I try and do is I do four sets of 15 and that means like each leg. So one rep is both legs. So you're doing four sets of 15 for each exercise and try and do that at least once a day. So this is what they look like. Hopefully you'll be able to see them. This is the best spot in the house. Uh, my studio I haven't been to since I had the baby. So I decided to just go ahead and do the video here. Um, and this is what they look like. So I'm gonna start with the uh, pelvic tilts. 
So you really want to get down nice and slow and everything's controlled, right? Because if you're not doing a controlled movement, it makes it very hard to do exercise postpartum because you have all these nerves and ligaments, everything's loose and, and um, on fire. <laughs> so just take it all really slow and controlled. So unroll nice and slow. And the pelvic tilts here, you really want to focus. You're not picking your head up and crunching at all. You're just flat on the ground, belly button tucked in. You exhale when you pick them up and you're curling your hips up towards your belly and leaving your hands on the floor so for support. So I hope you can see that here. It's nice and slow, controlled, just picking up that and really exhaling at the top. You should feel your muscles kind of pull back together and kind of close that space in between them and just hold it for a full exhale. And you're doing that 15 times, four sets, 15, just like that. So my butt's not coming up very far off the mat. I'm not doing a reverse crunch. I'm just thinking about pulling my muscles together and in and tight. And keeping that movement going. So for the next exercise, we're going to do some heel slides. I'm going to move so you can see my heels go on that. And kind of slide up here. So all you're doing is starting with your feet flat on the ground and slowly one at a time kind of pushing your leg out. And then as you pull in, you really suck belly button into spine. And again, pull it down towards the floor and opposite leg. So that's one rep. So we'll do 15, four sets of 15 reps. And I can really feel it in my obliques, in my front abs. I can feel it in my pelvic floor. So just kind of controlling that, pulling it all in really tight and breathing through it. Exhaling as you work and pulling it up. Again, nice and controlled. So next one is a march. Same angle is good for this one so you guys can see where I'm going with it. I'm going to take one leg at a time. I pull it up towards my chest and I do a slight turn in, meaning I cross my body with it just slightly, bringing it back towards the opposite hip. And again, you know, yeah, I can feel this in my abs. I can feel it in my obliques. I can feel it in my lower back muscles because everything has had so much pressure and stress on those muscles from carrying a rather large baby, but also just from carrying any baby, the way it changes the shape of your body and makes your muscles work differently. So again, slow and controlled, really focusing, exhaling as you work or as you lift your leg and pulling that belly button in the spine and focusing on bringing your muscles together in and up. Again, four sets of 15 there. Last one, knee drops. This may be a little difficult to see, but you're gonna do one knee at a time. Feet start in the same position kind of next to your butt. And these you really wanna go slow on because you're using also your inner thighs and your all of your pelvic floor to kind of pull your leg back in. So really slow and controlled. Otherwise you may get leg spasms or aches, pains, a little nerve pinching if you take it too fast. So you're gonna drop one knee out to the side completely as far as it can go comfortably. And then you really use everything you've got, kind of tighten and squeeze your pelvic floor, your core, your obliques, everything in, up, tight, pull, and then lift using those muscles to pull that leg up and drop the opposite side and pull all the way in. So again, I can feel this in my obliques. And when I get done with four sets of 15, I'm pretty sore. I did this three days after I, st well, I started doing these daily, uh, three days after I had Colton. And I'll tell you what makes me pretty sore uh, because your muscles just haven't been used in that way because they can't be when you have a baby pushing outward on you from the inside. So it's really nice to kind of get that feeling, but you may want to start just do two sets of 15 or even one set of 15 once a day or you can split it up and do one set of 15 in the morning and one set of 15 at night until you can build up 
that work capacity. So really exhale, lifting the leg. Again, pulling belly button in towards the spine and pulling all those muscles in up tight. So just a side note here, I wanted to say that whether you've just had a baby or you had a baby two years ago or five years ago and you never really took the time to heal your diastasis recti, it does work. Uh, you have to kind of put aside the idea of doing real ab work or um, you know any kind of work capacity other than some diastasis moves and really just focus on doing those moves day after day and even once you build up capacity if you can do you know three rounds of four sets of 15 it'll heal even faster so whether it's been you know 10 days or 10 years it's uh pretty pretty important to kind of let those muscles come back together and make them work to hold them back together um, and whether you really have diastasis or not, it's a good way to start working your core again without overdoing it. So I hope this helps. A lot of you were asking uh, what I was doing for diastasis, so that's what I'm doing. And I wish I'd done more of this after I had Violet because I kind of got right back into more intense workouts. And then I had to refocus and go back and kind of heal more of the space or the gap in between my abs. So thanks again for listening. Kaisa with Pure Definition Coaching or PDC Life Studio on Instagram, either way. And I hope this helps you with your recovery. Have a great